Uh, oh, let's end with this one. Actually, this is quite good. So the next collaboration in the McDonald's series is J Balvin, reggaeton superstar, um, has got a collaboration with McDonald's. Um, this is from Hype Beast. Um, of course, you got a picture here. He's got a Berg, a Big Mac, Sans a pickle with a McFlurry, an Oreo McFlurry, and a large portion of chips. Um, interesting approach in terms of collaborations. I, I wonder if this is to do with COVID. I wonder if this is a response to COVID. I wonder if this is McDonald's' weird way of trying to get people back into McDonald's or ordering McDonald's in general, or as a brand awareness piece, because it's a very interesting approach, because I wouldn't have ever seen McDonald's doing something like this prior to COVID, so I think it might have been a COVID initiative. Um, I like this idea that they're sort of, you know, diversifying the artists they work with, not just necessarily limiting it to hip hop. They've obviously, you know, branched out to reggaeton, who knows who they might pick up next, probably some big pop star I'm imagining. And it seems like they're also lining up with artists who, no matter how big they are, because, you know, I don't think every artist is in the same train. I'm sure some have very, um, you know, uh, particular opinions when it comes to dealing with McDonald's. But I like that they're actually using artists who actually eat the food, right? That's one of my common gripes I have with some of these influencer marketing campaigns or in general. They'll just, you know, a brand will reach out to somebody who has a high follow account just because they want to somehow convert whatever followers they have into sales. It's a really ridiculous way, but I know I've worked in marketing. I know how people think. They somehow think if I line myself with this this influencer who has 50 million uh, followers, I can somehow get to 50 million people. That's not true. And they also think that somehow they're going to convert 50 million people into sales, which also isn't true. But the best collaborations I've seen in my in my um, experience working with brand doing brand partnerships, doing influencer partnerships, the best ones are the ones where they marry up, where there's actually an interest, an actual a common goal, a common affection, a common adoration between both parties, where one person has used the brand unbeknownst to them, you know, in their regular everyday life, and now the brands are actually reaching out to them. It seems more organic. It's more in tune with their brand. Um, their their followers have seen it then post it sometimes on their own social media feed it makes complete sense so when you line up with somebody like a Jay Balvin who's uh, a proponent or somebody as a fan of the McDonald's chain itself it kind of hits a bit different the only thing I would like to have seen with this collaboration I know they're probably gonna do the same thing they did with Travis they're probably gonna do an activation in the store they're probably gonna do um you know um, some merch that Travis did maybe maybe I don't know would they do merch I'm pretty sure they'll do the same thing that he did in terms of merch but I would like to see a lot more a bit more of a custom look onto the actual food itself. I think maybe that was the way they kind of did it during COVID. That gives me indication because there's, there is no custom packaging. It's just the regular packaging you get with McDonald's. And I guess um, they just advise the staff members um, that are working in the branches to make the necessary edits on the meals. You know, as soon as you say J Balvin, they know what it means. So J Balvin Big Mac is sounds of pickles and stuff. That makes it completely easy. But it would be cool to have a bit more of a customizable uh, packaging, maybe just the box or the bag that you're using. That would be pretty cool. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So it says here, following, it's well known that J Balvin enjoys a good partnership considering that the Reggaeton Superstars partnered with the likes of Takashi Murakami, Jordan Brand, and even Deepak Choker in recent months. Absolute beast. The singer's latest joint effort um, might be his biggest to date. However, as Balvin links up with McDonald's for the fast food chain's latest, um, artist menu collaboration you know it's also really interesting this is going to test a lot of artist morals some of these guys are like kind of espoused the idea of like being against factory farming being vegan no vegan is not a thing because you're definitely not going to eat mcdonald's if you're vegan but just the people that have very strong opinions about fast food they're definitely going to be tested when mcdonald's comes to the bag and says hey do you want to do this brand deal or not that's really going to test your resolve. Um, it says the following quote from Jay Balvin. says, I've been a big fan of McDonald's since I was a kid. Balvin told Hypebeast from his home in Medellin. When I was a kid growing up in Colombia, we didn't have McDonald's until later. So when I visited the United States, it was always like the first thing we would go to is McDonald's. And I'd get my usual Big Mac, Oreo McFlurry and a medium French fries with ketchup. I've always gotten the same thing since I was a kid. No pickles though. Looking to uphold the relevance um of the travis scott high performing high profile menu mcdonald's recruited balvin to give his personal spin on their signature serving as balvin mentioned his menu includes a big mac sandwich free of pickles medium sized fries and a serving of ketchup um appropriately each of these treats have realized um with precious stones what 
Each of them show an upscale vinyl design necklace and Balvin wardrobe. Okay, video interview. Okay, cool. Um, when McDonald's called me to ask for the collaboration, I immediately said yes. It was a huge uh, part of my childhood and my day to day. McDonald's is just part of my culture, you know. I grew up with it and I'm proud to be the first Latino to have an exclusive menu. It's really cool to represent a, uh, a lot of firsts for my people, like my Jordan collab, uh, the Super Bowl show. I mean, even Hispanic Heritage Month. So the time is, is right. So again i think it's good for them for the mcdonald's because it's again it's a low effort collaboration it's just them essentially getting an artist to come in edit a menu edit a edit a set you know set item they already have on the menu and then basically you know uh run it out to the staff members and boom bob's your uncle granny's your aunt and then i guess as well there's maybe is there maybe a monetary gain in order for if you have more people ordering set menus as opposed to ordering individual items because i know when i go there i usually order individual items i don't order set menus so maybe that's a, a monetary gain that way but again i would like uh, maybe this is obviously an opportunity for them to test this model to see if it's got any sort of traction and then further down the line they might be um inclined to do artist collaborations in terms of actually making or creating a bespoke burger right like a different patty different combinations uh and breads and shapes and shit and different sources that might be an avenue they might explore later on down the line this might be a little bit of a tester or a bit of a taster no pun intended but yeah cool to see um this says here it's going to arrive uh last from the 5th of november to the 5th of october so the 1st of november like the scott mill the savvy customers can snag a bargain when ordering those the, through the mcdonald's app which uh will score them the oreo but for free oh wow okay awesome so they're obviously trying to push people to the um to the mcdonald's app uh for the, 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 the. so yeah definitely check that out if you're a fan of mcdonald's you're a fan of jay balvin Kai cannot be a fan of both, innit? They're both absolute legends. But yeah, 